Okay, I'm outside working on the garden, and I thought I'd give you a t little tour of all my banana pups. Some I purchased, and some are just pups off my plants. I went ahead and potted them in pure horse manure, compost. It's aged. And I put chips on the top so the weeds don't grow up and it holds in moisture. And each one of them I put on my drip irrigation so they get water every day. Um, banana plants, watermelon plants, and tomatoes, they're basically all water, so you got to keep them water good. So here you go. I got blue java which is an ice cream plant which they call ice cream and basically it's because of the texture those are blue javas this is grand name grand name grand name this one over here is a manzango More blue javas. And these are pups off of my plants. And then coming down here, got some more blue javas. Grand Nane and Manzano over here, too. So, anyway, once those. Once those go ahead and get a little bit bigger, I'll go ahead and plant them. Maybe I'll plant them. Maybe I'll plant all of them. Maybe I'll put some on my porch for the winter. I don't know. I still got to prep some areas. But let's go ahead and take a peek at some of my mature banana plants that I got planted. Okay, here's some of my mature banana plants. This one here's got bananas on it. It's so it's fruiting. And the others are just growing nicely in the landscape. And then there's some pups on the bottom of them. With a lot of mulch. If you can see all the mulch I got down first. I prepped the soil with good soil. Good compost. I got chips on the top. I'm even going to pile it up about another two feet higher. All the way around. And... All around each of the banana plants, I got Mexican sunflower. I keep chopping and dropping it all the way around so it gets some good nutrients in there. Um, and I also got some compost tea made out of Comfrey Bakken 14 and Mexican sunflower. And I go around my trailer and I go ahead and fertilize it with the liquid fertilizer. So we'll see what these look like. Okay, got some bananas growing nicely. Got some new pups shooting out. This here is a very young and skinny plant. So I went ahead and put a tripod on it so it don't fold over because it's real thin. At the time I went ahead and, and I trimmed all these up. I only left two leaves on it and it's still proud it. Uh, and it's still sprouted. I was always told you got to at least leave five on there. But anyway, two and it's sprouted. It's got new fruit. Um, all this down on the bottom is Mexican sunflower. And the pup's coming out. Mexican sunflower down here. This is what my plant looks like. Okay, let's go over to this side. Okay, over here, I went ahead and made this little cove over here, this little island, with banana plants going all the way around it. Put a boat in the middle and some logs on each side, a little bit of decoration. I compost with Mexican sunflower on all of them. I chop and drop it. Plus, I'm using the compost tea that I'm making. 
All of these are looking nice and healthy. The trunks are starting to get really big on them. And when I planted them, they were just real tiny little things. I don't water them. This is just all natural. It's over here by my pond. That's a man-made pond. I'll go this way. The sun is pretty strong over here. So anyway, this is a pond I dug out. I shaped the, the backside round so I could take the tractor and my trucks all the way around. And I made this side a little cove and that side a cove with a round part in the middle to give it a little, a little look. And I'm giving it some landscaping look to it. Same thing over there, that's like a little cove. And now all the way around in different spots, I'm gonna plant some more banana plants. And in this whole area over here, I started already. I'm putting mulch down. Putting mulch around. I don't know if you can see that in there. My flagpole. All the way around and all the way down to the other end of their property. Now this mulch is going to come all the way out. And it's going to go ahead and, and come on this. So this whole area over here is going to be tropical. Um, have a lot more banana plants. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing. The way that I went round over here with banana plants, around the flagpole. That's actually, I don't know if you can see it good, and I still got to make it better. That's about two foot of compost. And it's round on this side, straight on that side. That's going to have banana plants going all the way around every five feet. So there might be, you know... 30 or so or more clumps of them all the way around so anyways all those banana plants that you've seen back there is going to be planted here shortly and so that's what it looks like plus all the way around my hookah culture I already prepped that we'll take a look at that here in a second and that's going to have clumps of banana plants as well eventually and um, right now it don't look like much because I'm working on it but I got the mulch there and all that mulch is composting and you can see what this looks like so basically all along here in different spots are going to be banana plants they're going to come out a couple of feet and then all down this side all the way to that fence line is going to be tropical banana plants as well um okay so you got a little tour of what i'm doing right now with the banana plants let's go ahead and tackle something else